So the brand new Armoury Crates 1.5 update that just released is the biggest update yet and is an absolute game changer. Let's walk through the top 7 new features, including one that I've personally been desperate for for a long time. So let's start with new key feature 1 and this was a huge one that many of us have been waiting months for. And that is AMD Fluid Motion Frames, also known as AFMF, can now be added as a button directly within Command Center. And I'm going to add it right now. So let's test this out with the incredible Forza Horizon 4 that personally I thought was better than 5. I just want to state that this game looks absolutely epic on the Ally. This is the type of game to show to our friends who are thinking of getting the Ally or the new Ally X. Just to showcase what kind of epic graphical fidelity is possible on a handheld in 2024. So I've opened up Command Center to turn it on and uh, it doesn't seem to be working. I'll try a few times but no, nothing. Let's press X to open up Game Options, then set Game Profile. We'll come on to this new GPU setting shortly, but for now let's try adding AFMF here, setting it to on for the game. Let's try again and still nothing. The button doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I think I know what we need to do, so let's head into the AMD software app, head into gaming, and I think right here we need to enable AFMF from here first. So let's do that by toggling it to on. Let's head back into the game, back into Command Center, and yes, we can now toggle AFMF on and off directly in the game so easily now, which is super convenient. But do remember that first, we do need to enable it in the AMD app. At two are new boot animations. So let's head to General, then Personalization, and in this new Launch Animation section, let's press Download More. Let's let the Starfield one to try out. Mm, it's, it's asking us to log into our Asus account, which is a little weird. Why do we need to log in just to download a flipping wallpaper? Asus, come on. Sheesh, so I've logged in and I'm gonna download all of them, I think. There are just four at the time of recording the day after Ally X launch day. Let's hope they add a lot more and even better, open up for us in the Ally community to do custom ones. That would be so great. So let's restart. Ah, uh, remember, it's not the actual ally boot up. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. I forgot that it's just the Armory Crates boot up screen and not the actual ally one. Let us know which is your favourite in the comments. Just a final thing I've noticed in the startup video download area is that there is a static wallpaper tab to download new ROG styled wallpaper if we want to and an Aura wallpaper section which I'm guessing are RGB thumbstick glow themes. At 3 and still in personalization but could be easy to miss unless we scroll down is the ability to now choose a theme in either a dark, light or a line with system theme which obviously aligns with our Windows theme. I just love the dark so I'm going to keep it at that. For number 4, the update center button is now located right on the front page of the settings tab to make it super accessible for us, as all updates should now be available through Armory Crate instead of having to keep going into the My Aces app which is very welcome. My next video which will be very soon will be an Ally X optimization guide that you will not want to miss out on, so be sure to subscribe and also like if you're finding this useful. So we're in our final three key update areas and at number five our game profile GPU settings. So in game library on a game we press X for game options, so let's set game profile, go down to where I mentioned before in GPU settings and right here we can now toggle on or off all the key GPU settings like RSR, fluid motion frames, Radeon anti-lag, Radeon boost, Radeon Chill, and finally image sharpening on a game by game basis. Winner! At 6 is custom key mappings, and Steam Deck owners have had the fantastic community layouts ability to share key mappings for a long time, and now we thankfully have something very similar. To do this, we just select our game, then press X for game options, then set game profile, stay on the key mapping tab, click select template on the top right, and here we can import a key mapping template file we find online. If we change any of the keys, so just for an example, I'll pick left stick click, I'll change it to a left bumper, 
and we now have a new heading called My Templates. And to share this online, we'll just click on the cog icon, select Export, and just save the file ready to share. And finally, At7 is a completely overhauled game library that now is so much cleaner and has a very console-like feel to it. I love how it now has a favorite section so we can add to it just by pressing the heart on a game that game platforms are now separate in their own tab. Pressing the start menu brings up a list tab if we prefer that and in particular tells us where each game is stored and time played. And the selects button brings up the customized library where we can finally have a horizontal mode. We can have game artwork at the top like a PS5, in the center like a Switch, or I prefer at the bottom. And yeah, just other super great personalization that we have been so desperate for. There are two game changing additions in the game options. The first is in the set game profile area in configuration. And we can now select whether it starts in silent, performance, turbo or manual mode on both battery and plugged in. So we don't have to keep swapping them about in command center. And the second is in game info where we can select alternative game artwork. We can upload our own if we want to. And to me, what is so crucial in edit game artwork, where we can stretch the image to remove those super annoying little bars. I'd love to know what your favorite parts of this new 1.5 update is, anything that you think could be improved, and also share any tips in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. You'll soon understand why your timing is perfect and why things had to happen the way they did in order to guide you to where you're meant to be. When I look back over my life, some of the toughest and most painful times actually brought about the best change and direction that I so needed. So stay encouraged today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. Check out the top right to find out how my first few hours with my new Ally X was and the bottom right to see my tier list of the original ROG Ally. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.